Fiber Distributed Data Interface or FDDI. What is FDDI? Fiber Distributed Data Interface 100 Mbps Token Passing Dual Array a LAN A High Speed Backbone Technology High Bandwidth Optical Fiber Transmission Allows up to 1000 stations FDDI is a full form of Fiber Distributed Data Interface FDDI technology uh, allows transmission of data in LAN or fiber optic cable as fiber optic cables have been used here obviously the transmission rate or the transmission speed is very high and the data rate or the transmission rate that it can support can be up to uh, 100 to 200 megabytes per second it uses dual ring strategy to transmit the data dual ring refers to the primary ring and the secondary ring uh, where uh, dual ring refers to the primary ring and the secondary ring where the primary ring is responsible for the data transmission from one point to another and speed used here can be up to uh, 100 mbps whereas the secondary ring is used to recover all the failures that is for backup and recovery purposes uh, it also supports up to 1000 nodes or stations so that either we can connect up to 1000 nodes or stations our karnamunde we can say that it has become the backbone of wide area network or wan FDDI architecture. In this diagram, as you can see, two rings, primary ring and secondary ring. Obviously, both the rings are being routed in opposite direction. Primary ring is mainly used for data transmission and secondary for recovery purpose. In this figure, you can see it is an elaborated diagram of the previous figure. In the first diagram, as it is specified as nodes, here it describes what a node can be. It can be a server, a router, or a concentrator, or anything. The thing is that we have to use two rings and both the rings must be routed in opposite direction. A ring a wrapping. See, as I have told you, primary ring carries the data between the system while the secondary ring is used for redundancy purpose. Okay? If the system or the network faces any kind of interruption in a primary ring or a primary data path, the secondary ring can be used until the primary ring is going to be recovered. When a single station fails, devices on either side of the failed or power down station wrap, forming a single ring. Network operation continues for the remaining station on the ring. Components of FDDI Fiber optic cable, a concentrator or a ring, stations. Uh, see, there are two different kinds of stations that we should know as you can see. First one is SAS and the second one is DAS. SAS or single attachment station is connected to primary ring alone. Whereas DAS or uh, dual attachment station is connected to both secondary and primary rings. FDDI access method. FDDI uses token passing as an access method similar to the IEEE 802.5 token ring. The station which wants to transmit information holds the token and then transmits the information and when it finishes it releases the token in the ring the time a station holds the token is called synchronous allocation time or sat and this time is variable for each station the allocation of this time to each station is achieved by station management or smt the functions of smt are ring control ring initialization station insertion and station removal uh, fddi works based on the token ring protocol as i have told you it uses token ring protocol that is it works similar like a token ring that is as it contains two rings first ring for data transmission and the other for recovery purpose so if any station wants to send the data the particular station is going to hold the packet or uh, it is going to hold the data and it is going to insert all the information and the ring is going to be routed in that particular ring 
uh, in that particular direction and whatever the destination is the destination address accepts the particular token in the frame and it removes or uh, it copies the message and empties the frame and again the particular data or the token is being routed in that respective frame once the ring is reached by the sender the sender checks the frame whether it is empty or not if the frame is empty it takes the data as an acknowledgement data as the data has been arranged at the destination site so uh, this is the way how token run works so similarly fdi also works fddi frame format you can see this is the basic frame format for the fddi uh, sim it is similar to the token array frame preamble or pa sfd or start frame delimiter da or destination address sa or source address length of pdu or uh, protocol data unit or variable length data and padding crc cyclic redundancy check first one preamble it gives a unique sequence that prepares each station for an upcoming frame as you can see first one is preamble or pa it is used for preparing the station for the upcoming frames start delimiter it indicates the beginning of a frame start delimiter or sd it marks the beginning of the frame Next is the frame control. It indicates the size of the address fields and whether the frame contains a synchronous or synchronous data among other control information. Destination address. It contains a unicast, multicast or a broadcast address. Uh, frame control or FC is used for controlling the frame. It is a one byte frame that specifies whether this is a data frame or a control frame. Next, destination address or DA. Obviously, it is going to contain the destination address. Source address. It identifies the single station that sent the frame. Uh, next one is the source address or SA. It contains the address of the sender. Data. Next is the variable field or uh, protocol unit protocol data unit pdu uh, it contains either information destined for an upper layer protocol or control information that is it is having a variable length it contains the information or the data next frame check sequence or fcs it is the field by the source station with a calculated cyclic redundancy check value dependent on frame contents the destination address recalculates the value to determine whether the frame was damaged in transit. If so, the frame is discarded. Frame check sequence or FCS is used for uh, used mainly for error correction or for discarding a damage rate. End limiter. It contains unique symbols that indicates the end of the frame frame status it allows the source station to determine whether an error occurred it identifies whether the frame was recognized and copied by a receiving station um, and the last field is it is again of two uh, it is again of one byte it is the end uh, delimiter ed and the frame status if uh, the end delimiter defines the end of the frame then the frame status shows whether the receiver has copied the message or not. Once the message is received by the receiver, it copies the message and sets the frame status as message is received and that particular frame, that is the empty frame is again routed back to the sender. If sender received no data, it takes it as an acknowledgement and again the token is going to be routed in the same direction. Uh, so this is how FDDI works. FDDI characteristics 100 megabytes per second of data throughout two interfaces connects equipment to the ring over long distances allows all stations to have equal amount of time to transmit data FDDI is a land with station management or SMT.